Just make it clap. <laughs> oh. Just make it clap. Hey! Oh, yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to put no noise in it. I was like, yeah. You'll be a good one. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, we're good. Oh. Yeah. Guys, we finally made it happen. We made it happen. You guys both of us. All together. Right I know. I've had you individually. Yeah. Individually in lockdown. I yeah, think it was around Zoom. lockdown times. And yeah. then, obviously, at the program, you and yeah. Camilla come on. Yeah. Where I feel like Camilla spoke. We just like, yeah, we, just we were like a backing dancer. <laughs> I love that. But now we're all together. What's up, boys? We were meant to have some drinks, but they're banned. Apparently, okay. from this so room. It's all right. You got Coke, it's sugar free, karma. It's not very nice. Is it? No, it's not good. So you're going for the water. Karma drinks. Water's oh, my no. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Anders would be like, what is the one? Um, anyway, we're in. What have you guys mm. been up to today? Anything fun? Today, gym. Mm-hmm. Gym. Did you take a selfie in the mirror? I didn't front? actually. I didn't. I did today. Did you uh, really go to the gym then if you didn't did. take a selfie? I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did it go on Instagram? Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> All right, reading, gym, cooking, and then yeah, straight here. What did you read? It's called Untethered Soul. It's really good by Michael Singer. What's it oh, about? Michael Singer. Michael yeah, Singer. yeah. It's just spiritual. Ah, spiritual. Do you read yeah. a lot? I try to. I've started a new thing of just once a month. Is that how and you've then, been in this bookshop before? No, that, I've just oh. been here with Nikai, having a coffee okay. with Nikai. Plug Nikai. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're saying you want to... Yeah, just say, right, mention, me, plug, mention me when you're on the podcast. Mention me on the podcast. Come on, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, well um, Camilla, 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 Camilla. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I try... I, try, I was inconsistent with reading for a bit, so I was like, if I say at least once a month and then it'll get to a month and it'll go on from there, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, I need structure, but not have structure. Deep callback. I can't believe you just said you want to plug Nikai. I know. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't even I know, catch the that. The guy will catch that. The guy will catch that. It's okay. The guy will catch that. That was really good. So then you're going to try to push the two three times a month. Yeah, we'll just see if I elevate from there, I'm sure. Fair play. Yeah, man. What have you been up to today, bro? It's not been much. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you I haven't been to the gym. I went to this. No, I've not done. Bro, and you've not read. The gym's not hit for a minute. <laughs> I know what it looks like, so I'll get there when I'll get there when I need to. You're like, that's the destination. <laughs> that's no, the it's fine. I'll get there. <laughs> no, I'm really. No, I'm not. I'm just inc- inconsistent with that. I need to do more of that. When I choreograph, I have plans on that. I can't do both. I struggle. I mm. either come, I go to the gym and I'm not thinking creatively, or I choreograph and I don't do the gym. Mm. I don't know why. I have you tried gymming and then think about choreography at the same time? No, in my, in my mind, I think it's gonna wear me out. I like to use all my energy on just that one thing. I feel like away. I feel like you I don't know to, why you need to be in the right gym. So when I used to choreograph, I used to choreograph in my gym, like where I went. But there was never like it wasn't like a in London. In London you mean in the countryside? Okay. So it's dead. Yeah. So I would go and I would, I would sometimes do weights, but I would like choreograph in between sets. Is it? So I would take like whatever I'm using, or if I was just doing push-ups or whatever, over to the side in front of the mirrors, and I'd be choreographing. <laughs> and then in between, like when you know when you go around, we go back. Yeah. Say the song starts at like 40 seconds, I go right to the beginning, do an intro, do some push-ups, do something, and then get up and choreograph. So there you go. And then go back I'm again. That's it multitasking. Yeah. That's I'm real crossfit. Yeah. That's, that's, that's real, real crossfit. Cross <laughs> all these people taking classes. Yeah. Right here, just got <laughs> yeah. I was struggle with that. That would be a struggle for me. But I feel like your yeah. gym isn't the right kind of gym for it. Cause your gym's busy. <laughs> nah, nah, cause nah, cause you're, nah, cause your gym's busy. <laughs> no, I've moved. It's called NR, NGR. It's in Lewisham. It's like it's a nicer gym. It's pretty. Oh, okay, dead, cause you were in the gym, innit? In the gym, you and get beat up in there if you start yeah, choreographing. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not the place. <laughs> uh, now I've moved now, and it's better. It's nicer. Dark lighting. Uh yeah. So that's yeah. what I had in mind. It was sick. Yeah, he said <laughs> lighting is everything. Jake's got his own gym and studio, so everything's on his own accord. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. So I run a private PT gym. That's like, like what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he does everything. So I he's, love got, that. he's got a private PT gym downstairs, and then upstairs is like the most beautiful dance studio. Did, wait, did so you study personal training? As in, yeah, so I personal train like during the day, and then videography on the side. Everything. everything. Nah, it's changed. Everything. Now it's videography it's, and personal training on the side. Yeah, yeah. Th- it has changed. Wow. Right. Mm. In Shift. a year as well. Yeah. Like Quinch. he started like a year July. Do you like that shift? So not July, but the July before. Yeah. Do you like that shift? Like, do you prefer it, or do you think the other way around? Well, I think I couldn't do one thing. Okay. I have to be doing multiple, or else I'd get too distracted too easily. Okay, fair. Mm. So I don't prefer either. Mm, I nice. like that I can do both. You don't prefer videography than PT? No, because if I did videography full-time, I'd quit. If I yeah, did I PT full-time, but, but I understand one. that too much of one thing for a long time, you get bored of yeah, it. Yeah, I get it's bored. It's good to I have separate to yourself from it and come back to it to remind you what it's about it. I get mm. it. Yeah, I get yeah. that. I feel yeah. like that with jobs. Really? Yeah, yeah like I feel like I like like when we did Snow White, I loved it. Like even though it was like quite long and we mm-hmm. didn't do loads, I just had fun and it was such a great energy. Mm-hmm. And then I was so excited when I go back teaching again. 
Yeah, and then when you, you teach yeah. for a while, you're like, oh, I could love something just to throw in the you mix. You need to mix things up. That happens constantly, I understand. But I think that happens in dance in general. I feel like if you've got something else on the outside, for me, when I started doing other things, it just takes your mind off it. But do you, did it make you love dance more? Yeah. Because it wasn't... 100%. Because I, was, I wasn't involved. I wasn't... Comparison, all that kind of stuff went out the window. Like, yeah. I, I remember we were sat with each other and one minute we was, just, we was watching it was a Russell Brand interview or something. And it was talking about just social media and just oh, get rid yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. comparison. Like, we just said, everything. let's just delete everything. I know you let's unfollowed just, everyone unfollowed and everything. I was and really like, upset. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I get you it. Get I questions. Get People you get questions. I always message you going, Jaren, why you unfollowed me? Because he's unfollowed everyone too. Jaren's on Zevo. I yeah. know, bro. But I love that. I want to hack him and start following him. I feel like if you following no one. I feel like if you struggle with comparison, it's like I always say to people and they're, and they're like yeah it's one thing that gets me I'm like why are you following it then and if the real friends and the people that you love they're going to understand and you explain to them this is why I'm doing it it's for mental health mm-hmm. okay cool once I did that and, and only I have I have trading gym fashion and just quotes and anything that motivates mm. me That's, if I wake up if I'm, if I'm on my phone and scroll and stuff which I don't do often but if I'm going to do that it's because I'm following something that's going to motivate me instead of, oh, that person's done that. Mm. And then, then you, your whole day is spiraled. So. It's smart. I, I, if I'm sure you remember, once upon a time I was super into the gym, but yeah. I had proper body dysmorphia, like, and mm. a bad relationship with food and the gym. Mm. So I used to be like, if I had like a sugar or a carb, I'd go to the gym mm. within an hour because I think I have to burn it off. Wow. Yeah. And then I looked at my Instagram page one day and I was like, all I'm following is like shirtless, handsome men. <laughs> like, yeah. so I was like, yeah. That's why I feel like this because every day yeah. I go, I don't look like that. Yeah, I don't look like that. It's just so, we don't catch. We don't. So even I unfollowed it, it yeah, all, yeah. and I was like, I feel great. Gym is such a fine line as well because it's such a good thing to get addicted to. But you got to ask yourself, why are you working out? If you're working out because you're not happy with what you have to some extent, I understand why you'd work out. But when you get addicted to, I, I was the same. I used to work, when I was lived in LA. Well, I did selfies every two seconds when I was in LA. Like it was that every two seconds. It was like, oh, this is not big enough. This is not. The, and now I work out for my mental. If I don't mm-hmm. work out, I do anything to push my endorphins. Or if I don't do some money, endorphins. Endorphins. It's not a big word. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I like that word. I love the words. Oh, I was like, proud <laughs> twin. <laughs> I know. I love that. I love that. Um, <laughs> if I do, if I don't do something that's pushing that every day or something that I find difficult, then I'm I'm slumped. Like mm. I need to like do something where I'm like, well done, Rowan. You now you can relax. I gotta earn my rest. If I don't earn my rest, Is I'm it? like, yeah, I've got to do something. Or oh, I'm intentionally being like, tomorrow I'm doing. I'm intentionally saying I'm doing nothing on Sunday. And even then, and then I still get seven things done: the washing, mm. the, the reading, meditate. I'll do a bunch of things, but it won't be like crazy. I've got to move. And then I'm intentionally resting. I have this thing about people where they, you know when people be like, oh, like but you don't you don't work every day. Mm. Like so in LA especially. I never worked every day, mm. but I was actively working towards working every day. 100%. Mm. So like if I wasn't on a job, I was in class, or I was going to the gym, or I was doing yoga, or I was doing research on good choreographers and dancers yeah. in the area, yeah. like, I was always actively trying to make myself better, yeah. even not as a dancer, but as a p- person a or a person. human, and that contributes towards me being booked on a job yeah. in some, you'll even, some way. You'll even find that you'll do that, and then eventually it will get to the platform that you actually are working or doing something externally no matter what it is, but then you'll actually miss your your own time doing exactly what you were doing, what you literally mm. just described. But I feel like you in, lately have been investing loads of time in your craft. Yeah, it's Like a creatively. Lot. It's a lot. Like, you, motherfuckers, <laughs> a lot, motherfuckers putting out a new video like every <laughs> two weeks. It's a lot. Like a dance attic with a fake artist. But I'm like, yo, no, this, I, just, I was like, we need a new studio. I need to go somewhere. I'm like, yo, this bro. guy wants to be a choreographer. Did you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally like, <laughs> <laughs> yo. But you it's gotta smart, do. It's just chain myself. It's to chain myself. I put myself in a comfortable seat. I tell the guys the first time I did it, and Camilla knows this. I even described to her when she went away. I don't know when the first time she went away somewhere and she was busy, and I can't use her as a comfortable blanket. So when I'm in the rehearsal, formations are not my go-to. I don't love formations. I'll give you a good five and move forward and backwards, and I'm, <laughs> I'm good there. That's all I'm, I'm known when I'm with Camilla. I'm like, babe. I need a new formation. What do you think? Today? She'll come in, but I'm like, done, quick. And I'm like, I'm thing. learning while I'm watching. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying do it and I leave, but I'm watching. But then when she went away, I was like, okay, this is my time. I'm going to really do it, everything on my own when I can get a chance to do it. And I went there with the answer. I was like, guys, you know, come and live with me all the time. I've done it on purpose. So then I'm uncomfortable on my own. I don't have anyone to lean on. It's just what I want to do with my vision. And she completely got that. It's fine. It's for my own mm. learning. <laughs> but ever since that, it's just exciting now. I just practice constantly to get better at it. I really like that, like you invest in your own time and money into 
like what you're trying to achieve as in I feel like as dancers, we'd be like, I want to be a dancer or I want to be this. And all we do is dance as mm. in all we do is take class. But you're investing time in like hiring a studio, getting a videographer 100%. to create a visual mm. that I know you're not going to get any like no one's paying for your class. No one's financially coming and going, here's a reward mm. for that. Mm. But you're you are training like mm. you would as if you were trying to be a dancer in class, but in a new realm of being a choreographer. So you're yeah. putting yourself in positions where you have to create. And these these are things where you even learn. I mean, as you guys know, you're here right now in this studio, but you'll know knowing how to email, getting the dancers, figuring out this, figuring out schedules, figuring out studio, then the videographer, then the timings, everything you do is not just create choreo and everyone suddenly is in the room with you. You go do so much stuff that seems a lot before you do it. But I just didn't want to have that idea. Even sometimes before I've created, I have an idea and I go, right, well, if I book the studio, I'll call the studio, I'll call the videographer first, get that booked in, I have no choice, I've got to do it now. And, and which, which, it. which is like a job scenario, right? Because well, you don't get to dictate when it is. It's no. like, okay, if it's next Tuesday, I have to be ready by then, let's figure this shit out. There so you you're putting yourself kind of in a position mm -hmm. of a real life circumstance. And there you go, that's why, right, therefore, when it came to like <laughs> formation, et cetera, and all that stuff, there's a realization eventually where myself and Camilla are doing great, well, she's going to be great doing. Camilla. Boom. And I'm going to be on my own doing my thing. So eventually, I want to start doing my thing now, regardless of when I'm waiting for an opportunity to come up. I'm going to just practice now. And when I got into the studio with the dancers, I said, guys, this is what I've got. And I had literally six dots. Mm. And there's no just blank pages. I was like, i got nothing left. I don't know what to do. We're just going to mm. figure it out. And I'm so grateful. Like, I have Andy's in the room, Renee in the room, all these people. I'm like, I w I'm you in the room when we did the Tarzan one. Mm. Just getting people in the room that are quality dancers that understand mm. and they make your job so much easier. And they also don't mind to share their opinion. Like, I'm not saying no one talk. I'm like, guys, if yeah, you've got yeah. an opinion, don't be, feel bad to share it. It's a commutative, a collaborative sort We're of experience. We're all here for this to make a better product. A hundred percent. So when they feel comfortable and they're feeling used in a way that they're actually contributing to the process, I think that's more of a welcoming factor as well. But it's just been learning. So now I do it. It's comfortable. I enjoy yeah. it. I love doing it. i got a question for you. Go on. So, like, if we think, if we jump back, like, eight years, mm. you were the Chamber Twins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now you're Alex and Rowan, mm -hmm. right? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we've established that you're no longer just twins. Yeah, 100%. And, and I feel like... <laughs> First and now, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, do you know 100. what I mean? But I, I do feel like you you didn't come as individuals, you came no, as a package. We, we knew as Rowan and Alex. Yeah. We knew you as the Chamber Twins. You'd mm -hmm. have both denim shirts on and both snapback. <laughs> <laughs> you both look like the British Lee Daniels. <laughs> well, that's like, of course. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was like... Yeah. Lee yeah. and Gian, like, I like that. I'm Facts. not mad at that. No, it's a compliment. So but, but, yeah. And you've both like really found your individuality within mm -hmm. keeping similar traits because you know yeah. you have that in common. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. well, not everyone has that. Yeah. You both have it. But now we say a lot, Alex and Camilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you afraid that we're gonna lose Alex and get stuck with Alex and Camilla? Not stuck as in a negative, but like. Like you just said, like enjoy, I know that she's I enjoy not. That question. Oh, I you enjoy just that said because question. you just said, like you said it. You're I like set she's not always going to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like so, I have to practice for if it's just Alex. I'm like, why does that? And you know who, does that scare who, who you? Who gave me that advice of that? I was with me and Lucas. We were talking. Yeah. And he was so blunt, and I was like, oh, that's such a hundred percent. That's a really good point to make. I went like, after that. That's what got me moving to go right. I'm gonna learn. Could you learn your? Uh, um, I don't want to say weaknesses, but you learn the stuff that you struggle at, or the stuff that you want to get better at, and you also. You come out going, I'm actually great at what I do. Yeah. Also doing it completely on your own, you realise I did that and I'm actually really and plus you get to like you said, you meet so many new great dancers that also should be put on. It's not like just me, mm. I like to enjoy everyone else's talent, which is great. But as for the myself and Camilla thing, there's a market there. There's a market there. So I know that that's one side of it, but don't get me wrong, it's never just gonna be just that and that. I think even more so we know that now. But it's, I don't think they can't, they, they should be all three, Camilla, myself, and then that too. Also, I've got a twin right here that we can, we don't do it as much, but we even said that last yeah, time. Yeah. We've got somebody here that we don't use mm. because we're busy doing our own thing, but when we come back to it, we're I'm looking to have like four options or three, I don't know how I counted it, four, I think, me, Camilla, <laughs> then Rowan, then myself as well. Like, it's great, you have so many options to use. So I don't think it's like, a, I'm looking for just one or the other. When the time is right for either or, it's great mm. to use. And I think that's a smart way of doing yeah. it. Because I, I do feel like in our industry, like within dance, like we get pigeonholed real quick. Mm. Yes. So like if you do something four times mm. and you're that guy, mm. they automatically assume you're that guy. So like for me, I was always worried that I was the guy who could do breaking and choreograph, but I was, wanted to make sure I was never the guy who was the breaker. Mm. Yeah. Because we automatically do that. And mm. I just wonder like, are you? does it ever bother you that you might not, no one might be like, I want Alex and I want Camilla and Alex. Because you're your own entity, you're your own strength that you bring to the table. If they were the to same go, way that if they the were same to way go, that you two were both, it yeah. was the twins. It was yeah. never I want Rowan or I want Alex. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. it was, but very rare. But everyone used to be like, 
Rowan and Alex. It mm-hmm. was a it was it, a package it, deal. I think of it in two ways now. If they were to go, I want Camilla and Alex, I would be more I'm excited because I get to spend a day with my girlfriend. It's going to be a great day. I'm above where we good at what we do. I'm more nervous when it's, oh, well, Alex, are you free? Da, 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 because that's just my self-doubt coming in. But then I'm also now triggered it where I'm like, I'm looking for that. I'm now looking for things where I'm like, I'm uncomfortable doing you've, it, you've even though I know that. I can. I just got to get in room and do it. And I've done it many times before, but I've, I've had Camilla. I've been, it's not been so serious with what I've been doing. So now I'm looking for things like that where I'm like, okay, I'm uncomfortable. I'm, I'm naturally stepping back when I want to lean in forward to it, mm-hmm. and that's how I'm going to grow. Sick. And even that makes me recognize Camilla. Because when I've done something, I've gone, babe. I message her, I'm like, Thank you. I've, li- I've unconsciously picked up all this that you've taught me, and now I've got to put it in, and it comes quicker because I've had you around, and I'm not silly to know that I've not benefited from all these grateful, yeah, great sure. people around me. So yeah, it's a blessing, to be honest. Yeah. But that was the way I describe it. It's more leaning towards excitement when it's myself and Camilla, because it's like a fun day. And when it's me, it's more challenging because it's me, but I want to go into that depth more and more. Because like, even on like like running my training program, like if there's a week that Jake's not there, like I feel like I've lost my arm. Yeah. Like I it's do, a good thing I do though, go, to even, feel that. even though he doesn't teach the class, yeah. it's even just to be like, yo, should I? Yeah, I know. And just having that taken away and you, you become dependent on it. Mm. So like there was two weeks this month where Jake couldn't come. It was the best thing for me. Mm-hmm. Even though I struggled, but as in like, I didn't have lights. Mm -hmm. And for me, I love having lights because it sets the mood. So I went, I need to buy lights Mm -hmm. because I can't depend on him. Do you know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. I was like, I had to go and do things which I never would have bought lights. I wouldn't give a shit, but Mm -hmm. I realized the benefit that when he comes, he lets me use But also, like you said, it it helps you realize the benefit of something that you have had and now you don't in that moment. And then even just being able, even be able to just go to someone like, do you think I should do it one more time? Like sometimes people are like yeah, like clean that bit again or go over that bit again. Mm. Just little shit that yeah. he doesn't even know that he does. Yeah. yeah. But I, no. <laughs> I'll say it again. What? You know what I mean? Yeah. But stuff that I acknowledge that when there's no one to ask, even though I know what I should do, mm. there's no like uh, confirming my what I'm needing. No, imagine these people that validation. Kind of yeah, they don't validation have that. that my Some people are completely right. on their own, and they they've probably gone through that, mm. and now they realise that they can just. In a snap, make up this thing. And I love that. When I see someone on their own, I'm like, you don't have anyone around you to confirm, but you, you've done enough time where mm. you go, I trust my, I trust 100% what's coming in my mind, I'm just going to do it. Mm. Like, I just what, feel that's people's relationship with fear. I think we're taught, like, fear to run away from it. And mm. I'm like, once mm. you lean into that, like, I'm about to swear. Once you, you can lean, swear. You know, you know, once you lean into that shit, that shit, that's <laughs> when you, that's where, for me, confidence for myself was built just by doing things I didn't want to do. Mm. When I had no option and no one was there, and I was like, okay, I've got to do a bunch of gym, trading, fashion, um, dancing, moving, LA. I've got countless yeah. lists of things that I've had to do by myself to go, okay, so now when people go, oh, you seem really confident, it's not even ego, it's like, I it's just, built. I wake up every day saying, Ron, what are you going to do? Mm. And then if I do need to lean on people to go, I've cultivated an amazing circle around me. So mm. if I do need advice and I do need help and I'm like, I can't figure something out. I've got so many people, people around me to go, hey, and they'll be so quick yeah. to help because I'm quick. I'm I'm always helping. I'm always giving love. So then I I get that back, mm. like always. So it's just... Because I said to Leading you before, to fear. when you moved to LA mm. without Alex, I was like, yeah. how, like, how would you feel? And that you, and you said then, you're like, it was daunting, but yeah. I, I did it, I'm here. Like, yeah. But I didn't, I only, I've only, I only got the benefits from LA once I moved back to London. Once I was in LA, I feel like I was going, 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 training, training, doing, doing all that kind of stuff. And I wasn't aware, I wasn't conscious, I wasn't doing everything that I'm doing now. I was just gone. I wasn't, like, you get lost in the sauce and then I moved back, <laughs> yep. meditating, doing everything that I need to do. And then when I'm done, I'm like, oh, I'm actually good all these things are coming my mindset everything would just switch once i got back i just managed to see how much i've grown once i left that situation la for me was great and you can train you can get better dancing but that's hard if you want to stay in a a, a mindset of just gratitude and thankful and and appreciation in that environment it takes a strong centered Mm. person to not get lost Mm. you know it's it's a difficult but it's literally just dance yeah la for me was just like (laughs) don't don't die Keep yeah, moving forward, keep, moving. keep training, keep yeah, like, yeah. like I always say, like my a thing which is my biggest strength, but also a big weakness is like, I always say like, be like Dory, just keep swimming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like don't stop, like something yeah. goes wrong, don't stop, just keep going. Yeah, yeah. And that was like survival in LA yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas then coming home, being here now, like I, I acknowledge stuff. Yeah. I sit in stuff. I go, oh, still not as much as I need to because I still just be like, ah, oh, we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. No, figure it out now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's progress is a progress. Yeah, yeah. But progress it's, it's better than it was. 100%. But that's just life anyway. Just keep going. What are you going to do? Stop? 
you have no option. Because nothing else so stops. Nothing else stops, so you've got to move. Whether something is, is acceptance, it's like, feel your feelings, it's hard, yeah, cool. Feel it, accept it, take a week, take two weeks, take whatever you need to do. Take your time. But move afterwards. People, mm. too many people like, I'm not saying people complain, but in general, I feel like it's really easy to complain and go, oh my God, this is so hard. And I'm like, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm like, at the end of the day, it's you. Do you mm. want to get better? Do you want to be at a different level? The certain levels, I see it that way. Certain levels in life, you got to pass certain things to get further. And every time you get, for me, whenever I get an obstacle or something, I'm like, okay, bet. Like, this is where I'm going to get. This is meant to be. Like, okay, mm. I'll baby step it. I baby step everything. And I'll take my time because I'm not judging myself, but I'm going to be it and I'm going to get better. And I've proven to myself over and over and over. And I'm only 29. I can't wait until I'm 40, 30, mm. have kids, be accountable. I mm. can't wait. But that's I've proven to myself now that I can do it. So I just, like, I'm just chilling. Mm. I'm chilling until I have to like, okay, cool, but I've got to move now and I can be, I can be a leader because I've done it for myself. But until you do that for yourself, it's just like, you're going to stay in the same place. I'm not comfortable with staying in the same place. Mm. So there's What's a, the point? There's a quote that says, for every level, there's another devil. Yeah. I love Ooh. that. Facts. Come on. Oh, oh, what you were saying. You don't speak voice oh, the way you go oh, in. Oh, 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 my God. God. Where is it? I love it. Yeah. Okay, I like and that. What, what you were saying is that every time you find something difficult, you know that's the moment you're about to elevate. Yes. Yes. And I just said that. I was like, it's that's exactly perspective. what I've discovered over the last year. we all year. go through it. Everyone does. But, but, but so, so many times we get in it and we go, fuck, I'm stuck. Yeah. But Rather than going, ooh. Not. This is where I'm going to grow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, be able yeah, to discover true. that. There's two different ways of looking yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But you yeah. say everyone goes through it, but some people go through it, but then they they, don't they, they, they come head on with it, but they try and go around it or they mm. try and back away from it. Mm. Whereas yeah. actually just embrace that shit. But this is why like, I don't get I don't get annoyed at people and I don't I don't judge people because I'm like, once you felt the same feelings and go, it's hard. Life is a, it's beautiful. Life is so beautiful, but it's a challenge. It's hard out here. You, like, that's why people who get successful, whatever your claim of success is, like, they, you know they've gone through some shit to mm. get there. So when someone is complaining or being a certain way or acting up, I'm like, not just me, because I'm like, I get exactly what you're saying. I feel exactly, I felt what you feel. So I'm not gonna judge you, I'm not gonna get mad, but I'm also gonna just not deal with that energy. I'm like, from a distance, love, yo, but if you need me, I'm here, but I'm like, but I can't, you can't deal with complaints. It's just like, at the end of the day, you just got to do it. Like, there's mm. no, but you've got to be, there's a balance of having the whole, like, yo, you just got to do it, get through it. And I was, when I, the, first, yeah. when I first started doing the work on myself, I was, I was very like, just do it, just do it. And I'm like, <laughs> that works with certain, you've got to learn, it works it with certain work people. So once you learn that, you can't do that with everyone. You've got to be like, okay, I understand what you're going through. I feel compassionate for you. But at mm. the end of the day, this is take your time, mm. do it. And I'll be here with love. But if you're going to do, take, do over and over and use my ear, to complain, my energy, that's yeah. now like, my energy, which is like sacred to me, and I give to everyone. But I'm like, if you're gonna use it and abuse it, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, you gotta figure this out for yourself because that's what everyone eventually, eventually has and it, to. And no matter how much advice I give you, you're still gonna do what you wanna do anyway. Exactly. Mm. And then you're still gonna fuck up. Exactly. And then you'll figure it out. And then you'll figure it out. Just how like, many fuck ups you're gonna have. No judgment, it's okay. Take mm. 12, take but 10. But we're meant to fuck up. We're meant to fuck up. That's, that's the misconception. 100%. Is everyone like, we have a glorified life, right? Like. We're always told all the good things, as we all know. Mm. But like, we're meant to fuck up on the journey. We're yeah. meant to fuck up in life. We're meant to make mistakes. They're called lessons. Yes. So if we're not fucking up, are we really challenging ourselves? Are no. we really growing? Are we really staying learning? It's like, somewhere. and like, we can relate that to dance. Like, if you go into class and you're killing class every week, you're in the mm. wrong class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can go there, you can enjoy it, but then maybe yeah. you should go and fuck up. Yeah. Maybe you should go and be challenged. Yeah. Maybe go and do Josh Daniels' 17 pirouettes at the beginning of a combo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. go True. and push yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the no judgment is. I think in teaching as well, I, I, I can understand why people might get bitter and might get like comparison and go, people are coming to my class and do it. I'm just like, people are gonna do whatever they wanna do. And if you're not improving, and if you're not challenging yourself and you're not moving, why should people, I don't, I believe that. Mm. Why should people wanna, why would they come if they don't feel like you're moving and improving? And if, if you're not gonna, uh, want to improve in that kind of sense that's okay but if you're not going to improve internally so you can at least conversate with these people mm. and they can go but, he, the, but like I get something from that it's not might not be the person's movement but mm. the way they communicate and they listen to me and they learn they want me to grow if you're not doing if you're not moving and growing you can't expect that everyone's going to just come to you and be like because you was at one point popping it's like that's going to drop off if yeah. you drop off you have mm. to keep moving and or that, adapt I would adapt but it comes with, and it's, it's a fine balance because you've got to adapt without focusing on adapting without focusing on adapting <coughs> to get people in class. You gotta adapt because you love to adapt. Mm -hmm. Just do it because you love it. And then the, the all that external shit, oh my, it's fascinating how it just 
happens. Mm. Once you go, I focus every day on my meditation, on my reading, on my journal, on my gym, and I'm proud of myself for the, it might miss a day, or I might miss whatever, but I'm like, if I do certain things, I'm like, proud of myself, not because I get a job, not because I get money, not, that stuff happens. It just mm. happens. And it's only happened because I've done a but bunch we don't of things. See. You don't see we it. We don't no. see that formula. Because not many people ask questions. The yeah. two focus on what <laughs> happens. I'm like, ask how it happened. <laughs> when I'm having a conversation with people, I'm like, I'm shining. It's a fact. I know I'm shining. But if you don't ask me and go, yo, what's good? Like, what have you been doing? What's with? If I see someone just change and just leveling up, I'm like, what are you doing? What's your daily routine? Like, what are you doing? But people mm. just be like, oh, they're just special. I'm like, no, no they've been they doing not. it Because they push you on a pedestal. Like, yeah. And it yeah. makes it yeah. an excuse for why they're not succeeding. Yes. By putting you on a pedestal. Yes. They're yeah. creating their own excuse for themselves. They're creating their own excuse. Yeah. Yeah. By saying that you're cut from different cloth Bro, and you're cut from the same cloth. You seen Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the character Jonah Hill plays. Yeah, and he yeah. wa- and uh, that, that always goes as an example. When Leo, Le- 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 Leonardo, Leonardo yeah, yeah, yeah. comes in, I don't know what, who he plays, what the character he's playing, but I know the actor. When he comes in and he sees him and he's like, okay, I've seen you a, a million times. He's like, you drive this, you're doing that. What are you going to do? I'll quit my job now if I can work for you. But he sees him so successful and he's been looking at it constantly. And instead of just, like you said, passing it on, other especially, he's like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Clearly, mm-hmm. There's this and then there's that. What you're doing something that is That's not just externally. There's mental strength and there's stuff there. Yo, that I use Anders as the example oh, to everyone. Gosh. When people be like, yo, like people, like they, why did they book jobs? They're booked and blessed. I go, yo, Anders moved here like eight years ago, seven years ago, not booked. And yeah. he was blessed, but he yeah. wasn't booked. Yeah. Like, I was like, but just know, like just him being a good dancer hasn't done that. Like it's his mentality. Like mm. he, to me, he is our like, Kobe mentality. Yeah, he is yeah. our Mamba mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he puts his fitness first. He puts mm, the mm. gym. He puts. He'll drink water. He wakes mm. up and stretches. He's, he's an. He is an athlete. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like he treats this like a sport, mm-hmm. and that's why he is so successful in what he yeah, does. Yeah. Now, if you're not willing to do all that shit, mm-hmm. you can't expect those results. Yeah, it's facts. I, I mean, everyone's Kane results Silver, are different. Yeah, yeah, but even if you're not, okay, you're not going to reach percentages of that. Yeah. Could be still good, but yeah. <laughs> like, right. I do a bit of that like, in the day. What he does is yeah. still great. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. at one point in my life, I was that guy. Do you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, not anymore. So do you know if I'm not doing what he's doing, that's okay because I ain't putting in what he's putting in in that yeah, same yeah. in that same realm. Yeah. I'm putting yeah. my eggs in other baskets yeah. now. Yeah, you've got to do, do what you, know you want to do. Be like, accountable for what you're actually yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't be like, oh my god, I'm pissed. I didn't book Little Mix tour. Mm. Well, cool, bro. You've been in three classes this year. Like, yeah. like have you actually been? investing into that end goal like mm. he has no you've been investing in a podcast in your girl in your puppy in mm. your mm. in your lifestyle in mm. teaching mm. Mm. so you can't expect the results when you're aiming there's a lot of that other ways. but even mm. when i teach and i'll have someone that comes and it's not even like it's not on my focus but you can't help but realize you see different things when you teach mm. and even that when you see someone i've i don't know it could be months and then to kind of pop up and they're like you got any questions for me? Have you got anything? I'm like, I've not seen you. Mm. Off of this, you're thinking that's going to... I When you see a regular... And that's the thing, even when we have... I told her, um, I don't know her name, Miss Things by Instagram, mm. the girl that comes to your cast as well. These people that are regulars, I, I wish I knew her name. But these people I go to, I'm like, I see you. Don't think that I am not mm. seeing you putting the work in and you're working hard. And there's stuff I can help and invest in and give corrections if I have anything to give or just love mm. and positivity because you're putting in the work mm. constantly. Then there's people who don't do that as much or they have their own, like you said, their own journey that they're doing. But if they only came to a realisation that they are doing elsewhere at the same time, then they probably wouldn't come to the person after one class and be like, you got anything? When I'm like, bro, if you really step back, you realise that it's so hard to give anything when I've not seen anything for you? so long. So I don't, there's nothing much I can give yeah. you. But I feel like the challenge is like once you, because you work hard, you work hard, you work hard. And then eventually, because it depends what it's, depends what your goal is, but then people get like external um gratification from people and you get all this validation and then it, I feel like then that's really the test whether you're a hard worker or you've worked hard it's like you can work hard and then you get a certain thing and then you go well I'm done now like well mm. everyone's saying I'm, I'm good so I'm going to chill but a work hard like person who's like a hard worker just works hard Constant, constant. Like in the whether, whether someone is consistency that's literally it. once I figured that out and was like you're not consistent with things once I was consistent with the gym consistent with trading consistent with dancing I was like oh I'm getting better mm. so I don't stress about any detail in the middle I just go keep doing it mm. eventually and that's not and then I don't fall in love with like what's going to happen I'm like I enjoy just doing it. it's a lifestyle now it's not about what I get I enjoy waking up no one needs to mm. tell me what I need to do yeah. I'll do what I need because I know I'll feel a certain way and I'll go back to all Old rowing, which wasn't great, 
So I'm like, I don't want to go back. I liked there. him, but you're cool. I know. I was, uh, no, no, I'm great, but I'm like, I wasn't, I wasn't reliable. I wasn't, I was, there was ego. There was all these things that I had. You just go up. So I had to learn. I'm like, my fear is like, I'm not going back there. So I'm going to keep, which I need to figure out. Um, I'm not going back there. So I just, I got to keep doing this. That pushes me to go, just keep moving. So then you don't go backwards, which yeah. won't happen. It's impossible by now because I have awareness. Won't go backwards, but it's like, you just got to keep going. Consistency is literally the only way. Are you suggesting that you fall in love with the gym? rather than the end, dest- end destination 100%. and there's a quote to kind of back that up is the person who loves walking will go further than the who loves the man who loves the destination yeah 100%. is that kind of the process <laughs> yeah, you're in 100%. you just want to walk you just want to go yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah too many people are attached to the outcome when it's like that's if you're the reason you're doing something number one the reason why you're doing something needs to be more than you if it's because of you and i i when i used to work more and was like oh i want to be on jobs and all it was for ego, mm. it was never because I actually really Same. was like, oh, I feel I didn't know how I, I want to work for that person. I want to work for that person. Couldn't care. I, no. I just want to be busy. I want to be busy. I just want to be picture. Bi- like, I want to be busier than that. everyone else. It was all that. Yeah, it that, was that all was it for me. It was pure competitive. I want to be busier than you. Yeah, and, so then, that, and that, that is say. that is just more like that's just about like oh me myself and my feelings. I'm like if it's all about you and what and the only reason you're doing something is for you. When it gets hard, that you'll drop. If you're doing it, I'm doing things. So then, when I have a family with Nakai, when I have kids, when we travel the world, you put like, that out there. Come I'm on, no, it's, it's real. It's real. Like, I know, is like, I'm being real. Like I know, she knows. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> we both know. I'm, I, that's my goal. So I'm like, okay. If I say okay to my kid, you can't quit things, or you can't, you can if you want to. But I'm like, it's not great. You can't like, keep going, or you got to be calm. We got to do all this, and then I can't clean the dishes. I can't do the washing. I can't go when I've said I'm going to do it. How can I, you you've got, that's words. my Leave mind example. all the time. I've got to have a valid reason why I said I'm going to do something and then I don't do it, which doesn't happen. Like I stick to it because I'm like, well, in the future, I want to, like, I just want to be an example. You've got to be an example. You can't just say it. You've got to lead and shine and people go, you're doing something different. And it's like, okay, it's mindset. It's all mindset and, and your perspective. If it's just because I want to get money and get jobs and everything, great, but that'll stop. Or my, I want a busy class, and that'll stop too. Mm. It also, I know my class is not going to be busy forever. Like, what are you, you trying to like, do What are you it? doing with it? Mm. Like, I, I love that people come to my class because I communicate with them and that I can see it in their face. I'm like, I'm talking to you. It's not, the steps are like, whatever. Whatever, it's fun for me. But the fact that I can, I'm practicing for motivational speaking. I'm practicing for my TED talk. I want to speak to you and I can speak to 40 people in a room and, and, and get you in and get you like, you come in like this and then you leave being like this. I'm like, I've done my job. I don't mm-hmm. care about how, if you messed up. I care that you're smiling and you just did this. I'm like, that's going to lead into an interview you do next week or mm. a chat you have with a friend next week or mm. wearing different clothes. It's everything. Or even your energy coming back next week. Everything. Mm. But it's perspective. And that's what drives me every day. Mm. Bo. Bro. Bro, you should do a TED talk. <laughs> One day, bro. One day. Baby, Baby steps. No, start. Baby steps. Why don't you start your own podcast? I don't know. I don't have any goals right now. I have a any. lot of things. You just do it. You just got to turn, bro. You can literally do it on your phone. You just press record. I know. Easy. I know. It's definitely something that I know that I love to listen to. I know that I'm my communication. I'm getting better and better and better at it. But it's I have a feel, when I want to do something, it just goes. I'm doing it. You could do and it. You could do, happens. You can could even just do like your own Instagram series, bro. Just on your own phone. Yeah. Five minutes a day. Call it Rowan's rants. Rowan's oh rants. God. <laughs> <laughs> but like in a positive way. Why does it I have understand. to be negative? No, no why it's true. And bro, I bet you. Yeah. And like. If yeah. you feel like that you have something to give, like why, and you want to do a TED talk, but why? Like I wanted to do a podcast for ages, yeah. like, and I always was like, nah, like, wh- what? Why do I feel like I have the right to speak mm. about the dance dance industry? And yeah. I was always waiting for like someone to give me validation without even asking for anyone for validation yeah. while we're doing it. And then I listened to a book by a guy called Dan Meredith, and I think it's called How to Be Fucking Awesome. Okay, yeah. and he says literally his exact words in there it's like you want to start a podcast what the fuck are you waiting for yeah. no one's going to do it for you like yeah. get on the horse like figure it out yeah. and I started it the next day yeah. I rang my mum that night and I said I'm starting a podcast tomorrow and she's like well done. and I did it and bruv like is it easy? No. no. Am I famous? No. Am I rich? No. Does it make us money? No. Put it does the opposite. But do you know what it does? It does the, the thing that I started it for which was to have an impact on people. But you have a reason. And whether it's and whether it's Four people or four hundred people or four thousand mm. people. It has an impact mm. on people. And that's my that's my goal with this. Like mm. I always say to him, I was like, as long as we're making 
as long as people are listening to it and taking something positive away, our job is done. It doesn't mm. matter how many people. Even if it's just one person. Even if it's just one. And if I'm we just... stick to that as our intention, our intention isn't to be Joe Rogan. Our intention isn't to be rich. Our intention is to have an impact on one person. Mm. And if we do that, we're doing it right. And eventually, the good things will come. Yeah. And and if they don't, then these are the good things. Then we get to spend completely... sick time with each other. Yeah. We get to hang out but with you people. But you can't be, as I said, you can't be sat in this room already thinking about the things that are going to come you're the, not in the, the thing end goal that. yeah you, you can't, can't. The end goal you so can't. bro if, like i yeah. genuinely think you have something to offer in that world yeah so like why it's not because even it's... listening to you talk yeah you're inspiring me and i'm older yeah. than you yeah i've been around longer than you yeah like i've been in this industry longer than yeah. you yeah and, and you're super and, passionate and, and, and yeah. you speak and bro i've been through shit yeah. and you inspire me yeah i'd listen I think for me, it's. I'm your one I viewer. Really, I really appreciate. I really, I really appreciate <laughs> that because for me, it's not coming from a place. Of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? No, I'm, not, uh, I'm not. I am every day. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I deal with it every day. I like voice it. Notes, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. every day. No, the guy's the same. I'll get in the speech and be like, "Babe, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know." It's good like, though. I go. It's I can't good. help it. But for me, it's like it's not. It's, it's not from a place of oh, I don't think that um, that I can talk about that or whether like people, I don't think about that kind of stuff. It's just, I've gotten so good at just going with the flow, yet being disciplined that things just kind of happen. And I'm like, I'm doing too, so many things that I'm like, I don't, I, no, I don't, don't want to make excuses. I don't have time to do it. It's not that because you make time, but I've just managed to find a, a, a nice, like just, I'm going to just sit back, do my daily things every day, what I love and passionate and be disciplined with. Mm. And oh my God, when you just sit back and go, I'm just gonna do these things every day, work hard, improve 1% every day, mm. then it'll be surprising that that's a seed now. That's mm. happened, okay, that might be six months, that might be two years, mm. but it's gonna happen when it is going to happen. Mm. And it's, it's a fine balance because people say, we'll go with the flow and then you don't ever move. So it is a fact, <laughs> like, yeah, I exactly. so get that, it's, it's a, a good, fine yeah. balance. Something you said earlier, which I found quite f found with me, because it's the exact same headspace that I'm at the moment, is you said you don't have a current goal, mm. but you're the only goal which I'm discovering from you is you just want to be better than you were yesterday, Thanks. which is the exact headspace that I've been in for the last year, and I found that my life has done this, yeah. but I'm not actually aiming. No. All I'm trying to do is be better. Isn't it amazing? Only trying to, to be sit better. Sit back and watch it do this. You just and people will say things. People know and you're just kind of like. You're just fascinated. You have no, like, there's nothing that you have no attachment to it. You're just kind of like watching life and being like, whoa. Because I'm like, I don't expect anything. I don't know what, I have no I have no idea what's going to happen. But I do know what I can take control of every day. That's what I'm going to do. The rest, I'm like, Let it universe is on my, is, is, like, I met Nakai because I did all this work. I would yeah, have not yeah. met someone like that if I wasn't ready for it. Like, the, that was a gift because I managed to get to a certain point. Now I've met Nakai. You look at his perspective, you go, that's why you will then go, I'm reliable, I'm gonna make this work because I, the, I got to this place now to achieve, to me, a beautiful soul like that. It doesn't happen out of nowhere. I just feel like you put work in your inner self, you constantly keep doing it, then you bring people in and then life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. If you have a perspective like that and you work hard, I think and I, when people don't think like that, I don't judge, I'm compassionate because it's hard and I don't blame anyone and the society and things were, were, were taught to think a certain way. But then you've got to break out of that and that mm. is hard work because you can't see it, you can't touch it. It's you versus you every day. Mm. No one can help you with that. No one can help you when you feel like, oh, my ego's getting up, my anxiety's getting up and you've got to go, calm down, calm down. You're thinking this, but you've got to go, okay, cool, cool. Mm. Inside is this, but outside is <laughs> like, yeah. no, no one can help no you with that. No one knows that inside No one knows. Yeah. So I don't judge anyone when they're like, I'm, I get it. Do you, do you guys, like get anxiety at all? Yes, yeah. every week before class. Well, well, well I was gonna, I'm gonna lean into it. that yeah. question in a second. Yeah. yeah, can I ask you a question? Go on, hit me. Because when you said just literally, then when you was like, I um, I found it out for myself. Like you said last year. Yeah. Do you mind me asking what was the switch to made that happen in your mindset? This podcast was a major part of that. Okay. Was I had to this podcast kind of uh, strong armed me into believing that I'm good enough as a human being to be successful and that I don't need to be someone who I think other people would like. Mm. So I learned to wow. be authentic to myself. And in that turn, it allowed me to just go, all I gotta do is be me and be the best version of me. Mm -hmm. And so no matter what job I'm on or what friendship I'm dealing with or phone conversation, the only thing I think about is applying my, my core values to that sector. Love that. And ever since then, it just goes. Doo, 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 so if we were to ask what, 
is there a very different guy we'd be looking at a year a year ago? Would you go hell yeah, or would you be like? I'd say five years ago, okay. completely different human. Yeah. Um, but it's been a very kind of gradual, linear process. Well, I say linear. It's been gradual from the last five years up to like last year, and then this year I just feel like I'm just love that going up. I feel like you're Congrats, the, you're as Thank confident you, as you were. You're the same person. You have the same traits and the same values as when we started this. Mm-hmm. But the difference is now you have more belief in what you believe. Mm. I believe in you me believe more. in you more. Whereas before you'd say you believe something, but maybe you wouldn't voice it. Whereas now you're quite happy to be like, well, I think. Yeah. And, and know that there's no, still, and it? know that there's no repercussion. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, it's no. just like, mm. oh, and me, you know me, I'll fucking say anything. Mr. Opinionated, <laughs> and I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> but he'll say it, and I'll go, ah, oh, yeah. T- explain, yeah. teach me. It's that like, ability to find your own voice more and understanding yourself yeah, more. Yeah. I feel like, like okay. I found my voice. Like, yeah. Even this, like at first, he wouldn't be on camera. He wanted to sit behind a desk and didn't want a camera on him. Didn't want to be seen, and then one day he was like, "Can I sit on the sofa with you?" <laughs> Literally, I like, love that. Though, but that is even a moment you to celebrate though, in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did right. Yeah, you yeah. remember? You're That's like, "Yo, can I sit on the sofa with you? Should we get a sofa instead of a chair, and I'll sit with you?" And I was like, "Yeah, bro." <laughs> like, I the like very, if the, you want. The very first time for you mm. was such a was in Poland. Oh god! I remember I was outside yeah. and every single day in the sunshine. Oh, the, the house that they have in there, just it's just lovely. It's peaceful. Camilla's like, place in Poland. Camilla's place in yeah. Poland. Sorry, back up. Yeah. I would be out in the morning, just sat on the side, just meditating to myself, calm, no noise, and I could feel the door is like right behind me. I just, hey, bro, yeah, man, you meditating? <laughs> trying to, <laughs> trying to. It's like, and then I just, it was silence, and I was like, he's still there. And I went, come and join me if you like to. Do you want to come and join me? Ever since then, bro? Yeah. I, so I, you started first. He started the work before I did. So no conversation, guys. No, <laughs> right. I, I'm glad. I, how many times do I say that? I know, you remind I say that me all, all the time. Because I was in LA, then I was living in Belgium with my ex at the time, and then I randomly called him and I just burst out in tears on the phone. And, and I hadn't been home, I hadn't had like my friends around me. I didn't have no, like, obviously the girl's a girlfriend at the time, but I didn't have anyone else around me. So I just mm. let it all just came. Darkness just left my body. And then he said, Bro, just come to London. I was like, Cool, I'm just going to come for like a week. I didn't go back to Belgium. I just I stayed with him and Camilla. The first thing I saw was how them two was communicating, and he was me and him was not brought up in talking no, about your no. feelings and cat. It was just a bit of anger, yeah. <laughs> anger in our in our childhood. Um, beautiful childhood still, but still that was our traits. And I came back and saw him communicating calmly, softly, listening. I was like, what are you? The same thing. What are you doing? And I just saw it when it, when you see your twin doing something, mm. it's just like oh well. That's that's what I should be doing. That that really helps. And then from then, I just haven't. I then have an obsessive nature of like, I won't well, stop. And then now I'm like, well, I'm at now. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But it's good though, because even for myself, even hearing that, it also just teaches you. Because that was back then, where there was no noise, no noise. Oh it's yeah, lockdown. Everything. Lockdown. We we got our time. We got everything to focus on. We got our traumas, our conditioning, our everything to just look at ourselves. One hundred percent. Take yourself apart. Oof. You got to do all that, and I'm grateful to have had that time. And then now when you come back to noise, you've got to try and now fit the time in for both. Mm. And sometimes it's it's very hard to do. So I'm very lucky to have a reminder. I remember coming to you, was that we I don't know where we met, and I remember getting an email and I'm out working, call graphic, I'm, I'm talking about it, I'm like, oh this Da, 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 da. And he went, yo, bro, he said, you're making me not really like, you're not making me fall in love with choreographer right now. I was like, really? He said, yeah, because you're talking like this when you should be talking like this. <laughs> and I was like, wow, yeah, thanks, bro. And I was like, okay, yeah, I need to look at that. Because again, I'm just, if I'm wired on my own, I'm wired, I'm going, but that's not a calm level to be going at. No one wants that. And it's that you don't want something external like that to make you no. go in that sense. And for me, I feel like lockdown for me was the same. I traded nonstop, so I learned how to study, I learned how to make, did all that stuff nonstop. And my routine in the days was like, okay, I'm gonna go for a walk, okay, I'm gonna read, okay, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna take a bath, I'm gonna study. I, I had like hour by hour of things I was gonna do, so I wasn't just like doing nothing. I was like, and it, then I just kept that going. And then for me, I feel like lockdown was a test. And then when you get out of lockdown, and then you've got it's jobs, and it's, that's the, that's the, I mean, lockdown is a practice. And then when you get out, it's like test. It's like, that's when I go, like, how. And I don't, there's no levels of how spiritual are you, but like you can learn something. And then when it's in the test of like, you've now you've got adversity. Now it's a challenge. You know all this stuff, but now, okay, someone's shouting in your face, someone's stressing you, and can you just relax and just speak calmly? And, and it, it's hard. One of the hardest things to do, and I always let up as well, and then you gotta re- reflect and learn that. But that's the test. It's not, it's easy to say when you're in hermit mode to go, I'm really peaceful, I'm calm, and this, and I'm, but outside where you've gotta literally meet people and be around people, it's staying in that centered space 
with all this noise in London. Mm. Mm. Like, it's one of the hardest places to do it, but that's when you really feel like, if I meet someone and I just feel the energy, I'm just like, wow. Like, if I meet someone, just, I'm like, you get it. I'm like, you're calm. I'm like, I wanna, like, who are you? I wanna meet you, I wanna just have a coffee with you. Cause mm. I wanna exchange and go, what did you do? I did this, but what did you do? Because I want to see other tools that maybe I can use on a day where I'm feeling stressed and go, well, nothing's working. Maybe I'll try that now because they did that. And then you, there's so many tools you can do to slow yourself Different down tools, yeah. and breathe. Mm. I, every week before class, my anxiety is like this. No one would know because I'm in class, I'm fine. Once I start, I'm fine. But before, every week. And you got to put you through th yourself through that every week. Like, I, I always find it interesting. Like what, When I teach at like, colleges and stuff, I never really feel anxious. Mm. I think because I do it so regular, it doesn't make me feel like nervous or anything. It's a, it's a comfortable, it's a home, you know it's what it is. It's a home yeah, now. Maybe there. it was nerve wracking the first time, but I don't really remember because mm. it's been doing it so long. But like, I yesterday I covered Vicky's class at base. I was a bit nervous because your brain goes, how many people are there going to be? 100%. Like, it all cut, like straight away, it's like, am I cool? I'm a public. Where's that a college? Don't matter. <laughs> like, You've be like there. They, they, there. I've got to be there. They've got to be there. Like, yeah, do yeah. you know what I mean? It's like if they don't show up, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're yeah. not coming just for me. No, yeah. they might not like the rest of their day. Yeah. Whereas, like, I was like, I was on my way there, and I was thinking, oh, is it going to be busy? Mm -hmm. Like, is it going to be dead? Mm -hmm. I was really nervous. Mm -hmm. And then I turned up, and I saw a few people I knew, and I was like, okay, this is nice. Yeah. Like, I uh, guested my friend Jamie and Meg, so I had some yeah. friends there. I was like, yeah. if you want to come, I'll guest you. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you know, you're like, please, like, so there's an energy in the room that yes, I can at least go 100%. eyeball. Yes. Like, am I okay? Yeah. Like, one of those. And uh, I got there, and I saw on my way in that I was teaching at the same time as Jaron, and straight away I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. I was like, why? Like, why am I teaching at the same time as him? Like, yeah. when it's two guys, do you know what I mean? It's but not it's like it's a heels and a thing. And straight away, I had this like, oh, fuck, yeah. I'm nervous now. Yeah. Because now it's like, n not even, I'm very competitive, but mm -hmm. I'm not in comparison. No, no. On purpose. Yeah. But I know it's going to torment me if I get there in my stead. <laughs> yeah. So I got there and I saw bare people queuing up for his class. And I was thinking, fuck's sake. And I walked in. <laughs> then uh, you walk back. Bro, I'm not like, squeezing through them all that. And they're like, hi, Kane. I'm like, hi, guys. Yeah. Hi, guys. Thinking <laughs> like, you. they probably think I'm there to like teach. Yeah. Oh, I'm there to take class as well. Yeah. So, like, hi, guys. <laughs> I go in the studio and a few people walk in. And then within like three minutes, the room was really busy. Nice. It's crazy. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I am feel, cool. I, I'm cool. <laughs> I feel yeah. better now. Yeah. I was still a bit nervous as in like, I need to make sure I deliver because there were so many people in the room that I didn't know. So I felt like it was our first date yeah. mm. because there's loads of people that have invested 11 pound in you and they don't know who the fuck you are. Mm. So it's our first date. Yeah. I want to show you that I'm worthy of 11 pounds. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, if not more, hopefully. Yeah. But like the people which have come who already know me, I don't need to prove it to you because you already have seen the value in me. Mm -hmm. But there were so many people I didn't know. But the whole, as soon as I got like after the warm up, I relaxed, I'm having a great time. But for the first like 10, 15 minutes, and leading up to class, bro. It's hard. I was nervous. The lead up to class is, is horrific, bro. And I was yeah, like, how do you good. deal with that? Because like, I don't feel that often, right? Because I don't teach at base. Yeah. But that's maybe what made it more daunting, that it was a, I do it twice a year experience. Yeah. yeah but like, yeah. do you ever go, oh, what if it's like not oh, as busy today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you have the moments where whatever you're feeling that is the worst case scenario for you happens, then you actually survive it and you actually have a good time. And then for me, I love those moments. I go, okay, well, if I can do that, then okay, well, it, it's, it's fine. That's the worst way, yeah. case, you know, but mm. so it is, but it doesn't go away. Mm. Every week is, is what, one of those things. What do you think that is? Like, in my mind, you two are kind of in the spotlight of UK dance. Mm. Thank you, bro. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> no worries. No, I mean, if you, say, if you say your name to probably Anyone. any dancer, they know who you are. On a semi professional, professional level, yeah. they're going to know who yeah. you are. Yeah. Like, A, like, what does that internal narrative sound like in your head? And B, how do you... You mean the before class? The before narrative. class, which is we're putting it like, you know, we were talking about how you released some videos earlier, like uh, recently, like, is there a, fuck, are people gonna like this? Like, like is, there a, is there a battle? Do you feel like you have to manage... Expectations. Other people's expectations. I'm trying to fight against that because if I try and go away with what people expect or what they're hoping for, then I'm losing what I like to do, a little bit of myself. So I don't, it's a hard one. I get nervous about everything I'm doing. But videos, <laughs> about everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous now? Really? Really? I'm not. 
I can delete this. Don't worry. <laughs> like, <if it's laughs> oh, no, I'm no, not I, going to, but I can. I think, I think the video's not so much. Okay. The video's not so much. Class, yeah. Why, why is that? And what part of that equation? Because I, I get to control more of the video. I got, It's my control. Uh, I have many times until I do what I like to do. That's your thing. Control. That's your downfall, man. Yeah, like, if you, I like if you to can, like... If there's, a, if there's a change yeah. situation, <laughs> boom, yeah. it's like change. When you gotta like be excited for the change, and and then that's when things start to happen. That you're doing it and you're yeah, getting better yeah, yeah. at it, but man, it's like whoa. That's yeah. like why I, I even say when it comes to like cho- even choreography work, I'm not saying that that's never on the cards, but things like when it comes to like quick, I, I mean I don't want to say I'm married to my material, but what the one thing I've noticed that we don't have much over here is what I when you see my videos, it's always. There's an artist, there's someone in the center, and there's dancers off them. I like artists' work. I like to have an artist and have dancers. We don't really do a lot of that in the UK. We have TV no. work, movies, theater. We don't have a lot of artist performances that like we used to. Like yeah, not that are popping anyway. Not, not And if really. they are ours, they end up being taken back. I actually so. got that from when I, when I saw the Cody interview, and I'm like, it made me realize, I'm like, oh, we really don't have everything I'm prepping for and doing isn't really, hot, isn't always out here. But it doesn't mean I don't love it nonetheless. I think that's why I don't get. I was nervous because it's not out here all the time. Not everyone's doing it. But when it comes to class, I mean... You just said because not everyone's doing it. Yeah. If other people were doing it, would you then get nervous? Probably. Because that, to me, then suggests that there's a comparison issue. Mm. Yeah. Rather than a self-confidence. There's definitely a self-confidence level because I'm not the most confident person, even though I'm, I don't think I come across it. But I'm just very... I'm not... Hey, I'm not like that. I'm very... I'm, I'm lucky to have a lot of people around me. I'm lucky to have people... Do what I do and learn what I do. I'm grateful to to go. You can go to a class and people actually wanted to show up to just learn what I'm making. And every week, I'm like, I don't understand the formula of why why people like to do it, but I know there's something I've got and I'm great at it. But I'm not overly confident. I'm so learning to try. And you find say that. that you're great at it. Yeah. So what part of you is thinking that you're not great at it? I need to find that one. Oh, you're a good one. Man. You're good. <laughs> Let's turn into a coaching session. I'm sorry. It's great. It's great. Like, it's great. So many people. The, the reason I'm asking these questions is because there's going to be so many people that are in the exact same situation 100%. as you are. And yeah. for someone who are on your caliber, both your caliber, of career, in terms of choreography, dance, or whatever, like. There's no better person for them to probably listen to about that. Yeah, it's good to know they can relate to him. Like everyone goes through, it, I guess. You trying to turn my level down? I don't know. Just this flickering the, <laughs> the free. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it down. Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I just don't want it to get distorted. But that's exactly yeah, the post. reason why I'm more on the journey now. Of whatever, even saying yes to just many things, whatever's coming up, I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll do it because there's gonna some. There's gonna be something I can learn when I'm on my own, especially mm-hmm. is to just dive into it. And though, like I said. When people go, oh, I've not done that before, and they go, well, now you have. And you even just need that to go, oh, I've done that. And all that mm. kind of feels like, okay, more comfortable. More comfortable. That's what I'm saying. When it comes to the video, wise, I'm so comfortable. We both right. know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for We've a long time. We've both been talking about stepping out of our comfort zones mm. and, like, what can we do? Because, like, the other day, sorry for listeners, we uh, did a, we went on the Capsules podcast and did a live podcast oh, for nice. them with an audience, and it wasn't our demographic yes it was dancers but it's like the underground hip-hop scene and we the were capsules saying capsules podcast yeah, yeah. Like, uh, luke dense not lyle lyle's is the capsule training program okay. but luke's got a podcast called the capsule it's like oh, cool. it talks about like the street dance culture and the street oh, dance cool. yeah it's, it's dope man dope. like check it out it has some great guests on okay. it um and he invited us to speak at his year anniversary in front of an audience and bro <laughs> stepping out of your comfort zone holy fuck yeah. we were Ter- I was uh, I was terrified mm. and I wasn't terrified until we got there and I was like yo I'm shit in my pants <laughs> and when we left we were so like proud that we'd overcome it yeah. and we were like could you do it again now yeah mm-hmm. yeah but is it because like you're like we but survived it's just, but it's just doing it's just doing <laughs> it's just doing <laughs> we're both doing oh that. my days it's just <laughs> doing on. it's just for me it's just doing bits of that every, every day, day to prep yeah but so if the fun. gym you get I get anxious before I go not as much anymore because I've done the gym for so long now that I'm like I enjoy it, but I get a little bit anxious before that. I get a little bit. I get a bit, a bit anxious before I got to meditate because I've got to, in my hips get like really in pain. I've got to like stretch and hold it and do all these things. That if I'm like, there's so many things I get not anxious. Anxious is a strong word, but feel like oh, I've got to do that. Like make sure there's them little feelings mm. like that. But the more you do that every day and conquer it, then when you get to like a new level, you're still going to be anxious, but you're still going to be more prepped. I feel than you were if you didn't do the bits every day of like, well, mm. this scares me a little bit, or I don't really want to do that, I can't mm. be bothered. It's like, what do you mean you can't be bothered? Like, to grow. Do, to grow, really? 
You can't be biased. <laughs> really? <laughs> for me, it's like, for me, if I, if one thing that I heard in the podcast and I always do it, if it takes me one minute to do, I'm doing it. Dishes, put the thing away. If I put something down, look at it and go, it's going to take me a minute, do it. Yeah, Why I are you going to go, I don't understand I'll do leaving that something and going, I get we get busy and things happen, but I'm like, if you have that time, just put it away a minute. That every day teaches you to just like yeah. just get things you, done. You know, the, making your bed. You know, the, it's, the, it's the first thing I do every yeah. day. Yeah. Every as day, long, as long as George is gone, yeah, because I'm not gonna be like, babe, get up, get up, exactly. <laughs> 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 Her and Hallie look at me like, are you mad, bro? Yeah. But if I'm if they get out of bed, the first thing I do when I get up is I make the bed. Start the day because right. the first thing I do is I've achieved. Yes, I've had a victory, and it's such a small victory. Yeah. But it is a victory. But, but people I, are focusing, sorry, one second, people are focusing too much on the bigger victories. That's what I'm saying instead of that. I'm going to lead oh, into yeah. that in a minute. Yeah. But I do like the fact that even when you were saying that you did the, I love this, when you were saying you did that, the interview when it was live for you guys, it was something new. And you were like, I'm nervous, I this and that. I also, what I've learned, and I think it's a very good thing to do, is communicate how you're feeling to the people that you're even in front of. And be like, oh, mm. nervous today, guys. Mm. Mm. May not know this, but get it, because I'm going to know it. Like, even when I teach, I'm like, guys, <laughs> figuring this out, but I'm going to get it. There's I, no yeah, way that, that I'm going to, like, leave you. Mm. Yeah, if yeah. I don't know it, I'm going to figure it out, yeah, and you're going to know it. We're I'm all like, on the struggle bus bro, today. I've seen teachers, and I've been in the class, and I'm like, you really leave them. And it's leaving them where you're going to get it eventually, you're going to find it. But it's leaving just like, I'm not even here for you, mm. and you're just going to get it. Well, I'm like, guys, I see, and even when I teach and I'm like, I'll explain the timing. I'll explain that I go over class. I go over time and I need to figure that out. So guys, I'm over time a lot. I need to go back. So now we're, around the, we're at like five, two. I've got this last section. It will take well, five minutes, seven minutes. I've got 20 minutes for you guys to dance. How does that feel exactly what I'm trying to aim for? They're clapping because they know what they're doing and what they're involved in. Mm. But we don't try and tell anyone what we're doing or what our strategies are, how we're feeling about it. But when mm. you do, people are then they're more they're understanding. With you, they understand it. There's there's a leading into it too much where it's like you don't want <laughs> I said this the before, but like, obviously they're moving like three hundred. Mm. You don't want the leader being like, What do you guys think? I actually don't know if we should but like, bro, if we're behind you you need to know what you what yeah, you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you're a leader of the there's ship. a fine line before between like you can say I don't know a lot and you really don't know anything or it's like okay I'm set down feeling but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna but I feel like that's this. where like tone comes into it I'm like you can tone. say I don't know what I'm doing but yeah. you'd be like I, I don't know what I'm doing like, <laughs> then, it's just, yeah, it, with a panic is everything with yeah. a panic or this you can be like I don't know what I'm doing but I'm cool with what I'm doing and that's okay it's a tone for me as well is a big thing once you learn to like your tone and slowing down not speaking not into there's all these things that seeming calm seeming calm there's so many levels Think and Grow Rich was one thing that I yeah. listened to Was Napoleon good? Hill Think and Grow Rich an audio book and I listened to that on repeat and it's just like if you li list all the things you've got to do to like just be a better person someone will look at this and be like I can't be bothered it's so many little details you're yeah. like oh you've got to f it's, so, it's like you've got to be so self aware to talk watch how your hands are doing watch how your face is doing watch how like if someone's saying something to you but it's like you might be saying it in a nice way but what's your face look like if you're scowling they're going to get defensive if you're crossing mm. your arms they're going to get defensive so how are you holding yourself mm. there's so many things to pay attention to that the, a lot of people don't do because it's work it's mm. actually work if you want to be able to communicate with people and meet people and if you want to do things you've got to deal with people if you're mm. not a good people person and you can't stand and listen and notice, mm. are they fidgety? They might be nervous. Are they twitchy? Okay, cool. Like just watch people listen and not because you want to be the best person, get all the money in the world, but because you're fascinated by people. I love watching people because I'm like, that's cool. Like, what mm. are you doing? Like, you've mm. got to be fascinated and that book changed for me because there's so many details. Talking of books, have you listened or read Atomic Habits Atomic Habits no, I've done, I've done that you're one. literally describing that book yeah, at the moment yeah. so it's talking about how like micro changes creates, creates the macro environment yeah. so instead of going I'm going to go to the gym seven times a week it's I'm going to go to the gym twice a week for half an hour yeah. and then building yeah. on that build so, build and the it. small details like posture yeah. how do you do a handshake yeah. blah 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 yeah. but I think it's comparison though it must be so difficult now when you're say something like the gym and say I'm going to go two times a week but that person is going this times a week or they look like that um, but it's like just be okay with your own journey and baby step again and like, stop just looking at that person of everything else that you're looking unless, at unless it's for unless you know you can look at that person and only find inspiration 100% yeah. because like 100%. I look at like I look at people and I find pure inspiration from them and like I do not find myself failing because I look at them that's beautiful like that's... do you know what I mean and there's not mm. not lots but some yeah. I look at them like and I go oh I want to be like that 100%. like so like we all know like John Graham is like one mm. of my biggest heroes. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. genuinely, like he, I know he's like one of my best friends, my big brother, but mm. I, I, I genuinely idolize him from yeah. like 
how he is as a human, how he communicates with people, how he conducts with people. I'm always fascinated by how he does stuff, and he does stuff in such a great manner. Mm. And how he teaches a classroom, how he is so calm and collected in a class, mm. all mm. things to do with that. I'm always like, yo, if I can be like 10% mm -hmm. of what you've got, I'm mm -hmm. on the right path. Yeah. Like, and then someone said to me the other day, is it you? No, it wasn't you, sorry. I don't know what I said. We speak so much. Uh, Jamie Bell said to me, yeah. uh, who's an ex-student of mine, he's like mm -hmm. 21, mm -hmm. went for drinks. We're like, oh, we'll have one or two. I had nine. <laughs> yeah, <let's go. laughs> but we got deep talking, man. Love so it. We, we both were vulnerable. And he was yeah. like, great. And he said to me, like, what, like, what's your goal? Within, like, within dance, what's your goal? Mm. And I said, he used to, I used to be fixated on jobs and stuff and things like that. And I said, but if I can make one dancer feel I've impacted their lives the way that John has impacted mine, I've succeeded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, you already have, bro. I'm that guy. Yeah. And he went, and I can name others. And I was yeah. like, oh, wow. But you Some, don't see that as you. Some things you won't see, but you everyone see. else sees it. And a lot of people won't say but, it either. They won't tell you, know, which is again, it's that's the thing. thing. But I can look at him and I'm not like, I'm not as good as him or I'm not him. Mm -hmm. That's not a negative to no, me. That's no. not a comparison. Yeah. That's a, how do I be like that? Yeah. How do 100%. I strive for those things? Even though we have different personality traits and we like different things. Yeah. How do I take the good things that I like? You've yeah, got to be inspired. Like even we with like I met Nakai obviously, and then there's friends of hers, the guy called Matt, yeah. and their fashion is insane, and the things that just revolve around that. They missed me, agged me. I didn't know that I was. I, was <laughs> I didn't have no idea. I didn't. They when I met Nakai after a bit, like I went to my wardrobe and we just threw all of it out and was like, cool. Like I was so open because I already did this work on myself anyway. So now that when things like that happened. I didn't get like, no, this is my identity. I was like, okay, bet. Like, let's see what, I, what else I can do. This will be fascinating. I just want to learn. So I met them too and started getting into it. And there's guys that I, even on the tube here, like I was saying before, we're in a crop this is what top. This I want to dive into. Yeah, we're in a crop top on the tube, being a guy, like you've got everyone like looking at you, but I've got people that I follow. There's a guy called Jordan Hayes who went on Love Island. Um, when he went on Love Island, definitely more masculine kind of energy. And if you look on his Instagram, it's 10 times this. Like, mm. you cannot, like, it's crazy. And is it in a good crazy? Is it like you cannot not look? It's inspiring. The fashion is insane, but it's boundaries. And I look at, I, I was on the tube today and I went, let me look at this. Okay, okay, I feel good. I feel good. That was your inspiration. That was my inspiration. And there's a good guy called Curly Fry. Same thing. Where it's like crop tops, like up to here. Like this, and I'm just like, just wait. Like, I can't wait. Like, I saw like tattoos, but I, I look at people and I go, oh, I'm, I can't wait. Like, I'm fascinated. What, what has inspired this change within your clothing or your presentation there was nothing like specific that inspired it again it was all that work on myself that again it's been no goal it's just been things have just been happening along this journey and now this is one of them i'm like okay this is this is cool let's just see what happens like i don't hold i don't go well now i want to be a model i'm like i just go well i like that now so and people seem to react off it that's really cool okay i'm not bothered about that but it feels nice when it's a new thing and people go bro i had anders messaged me i wore a skirt at, um, Come on. on a night out and anders hit me up and was like bro legend and he sent me a picture of nfl person wearing a skirt i was like for my straight friend like i don't believe in labels but straight friends are like messaging me that i'm like it's reaching out people are, well it's a dancer's diet some guy came up to me and was like bro like i can see that and it's expanding people this and i'm like no one will tell me on instagram no one messed you and say that but when you get the odd person come to you and go you're inspiring other men to do what they want to do i'm like that's great like mm. i love that but and i'm not doing it for that reason well it is a it does help that it is a a part of it too actually i'm lying like you do do it for that reason it is great to know that you're inspiring other people but i'm not putting on a clothes to go i'm going to be this person that's inspiring them i'm just like i enjoy it i like doing it right now maybe i won't at one point maybe i'm going to switch up but for right now but you're it's not fun. you're not not doing it because of other people's thoughts i don't know what other people want to do i don't know what other people think i don't follow nothing i don't talk about nothing i'm doing my thing every day i don't see what other people are seeing i don't know nothing okay so since <laughs> i'm on my business i'm on my business and then i've got my people like my six seven people around me that i'm like i love and they love me and when i'm around them they feed my cup and i feed theirs if you don't mm. then i'm like okay with love i'm out mm. but i'm like if you feed my cup i'm like i'm happy for that mm. so what have you learned about you within in, what within this phase of changing how you present yourself and I'm just a vessel way. man like I don't I, I before I would have been like I'm straight I'm straight I was this in LA I was this and now I'm like I don't believe in straight get I don't I not believe in it you can identify whatever you want to do but for myself I don't think of myself as straight I'm just like I'm me and I don't and me and me and Mikai both know that and I'm like I don't think a certain way I'm just a vessel I'm just a body like what's inside of me is me flow I'm just flowing around this shit mm -hmm. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here I don't know what I'm doing, but if I can just touch as many people and do this, what I love, this is what I love. 
Talking mm. is what I love. The dance, the clothes is just like a like, kind of like a an after part of it. But this is what I love to do. The more I can do that before I end up touch wood passing away and I go into another journey, then that's what I'm here for. We mm. have no idea how, how long we're here for. So mm. I can talk to you and go, just do what you want to do. As long as it doesn't hurt no one else mm. and you do it from a good intention, just do it. Just do it. We, we had um we had Martha on earlier, as yeah. you know. Yeah. Last week. Yeah. Um ah! <laughs> uh, she said something dope that she doesn't like to be called the term as a vessel. Oh, she doesn't. She's an instrument. She's an instrument. She's an instrument. Oh, okay. And because when, oh, like, like, when you blow like, yeah, like, yeah, 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 through it, yeah, you know. Yeah. Because she's that. like when because obviously she's very religious. She's yeah. like when God she's breathes insane. into the into this instrument, I sing, I create 100%. the music. Yeah, and I it's can such see a it. it's yeah. such a dope way you can see it. If you go back and subscribe to the internet. Make sure you like it and yes. share it with 19 <laughs> friends. <laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah. yeah, she said, oh, I'm not that. a vessel, I'm an instrument. I love that. And I was like, wow, what yeah. a beautiful way of saying yeah. it. Like, no matter what your thing is, like remove God from it, whatever, yeah. but yeah. I'm an instrument. Yeah. She's like a vessel just holds stuff. I get I'm, that. I'm playing. That's like, really sick. Nice. I'm playing, I love that. Yeah, I thought you it like takes it. the weight off you. I think people are so concerned with like what people think and the external stuff, but when you think of yourself in that sense and you just kind of, you don't, hold attachments to things just kind of like well that's happened okay well it's not a good or a bad thing it's just happened mm. maybe it's going to turn out to be a great thing that this bad thing happened to me we'll just see mm. like, i don't know so the more i leave with that and yet there's it's, some not, it's not going to be a bad hard. thing because if anything was well, an experience it's and an you, experience. you've learned from it but it's how you took it the same way of going to a class that you might be like nervous and then it's a bit emptier than you thought it was going to be and you, it was the worst thing in the world but afterwards you was like mm. okay i feel good now because I've, I've i've got through that and it actually mm. was amazing so it's just perspective and just Reminding yourself in the moment when your anxiety is up to go, yeah. just 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 chill as hard mm. as you can, just try and relax. So, but you need your circle around you. That's number one that I learned. You need people to remind you. Mm. You can remind yourself as much as you can. Write it down, journal. But then if you've got people to like back that up as well and, and talk and feel safe to, then mm. it's an everyday reminder. I feel like you you've learned to be your own coach, right? Yeah. Like you're coaching yourself by journaling, yeah. by doing all these things. Yeah. Like you're yeah. just becoming your own coach. You're yeah. doing the thing that you know, once upon a time, our teachers would try and teach us to do, like yeah, yeah. within a different realm or a different context, but yeah. you're just constantly coaching yourself that you can succeed, yeah. like, or you can learn. And you're, that's you're, why you're a blessing And you're you teaching have, yourself. When you have people that recognize it and come to you and give you advice or talk to you because then you have your own coach and you hopefully, you strengthen that voice so much where you want, you really trust to rely just on your voice and you un you understand that, but then you realize how much of a blessing it is to have people in your corner to, if you're not there that day, they will remind you. Well, this is why the Kai is so important to me. I remember when I first you said, wore, yeah, wore yeah, my yeah. first crop top and I put it on and I was like, babe, like I'm <laughs> I doing love these hands. My first yeah. crop top, exactly. I was like, Whoa, Whoa, yeah, I, I swear <laughs> to God, you were norm like normal, like what you're used to, then you go out and something like that. And I was like, where do I put my, like I did, it was not, it was not normal. I was like, this is weird for me. And in a good way, I was like, this is scary. This is fearful. I'm kind of focused on what people are looking at me like, I need to do this more. So that was my mindset. But I turned to the camera, I was like, babe, I'm a bit nervous. She was like, babe, I'm bald. So it's like, I shake <laughs> my head yeah. off. So it's like, you'll get used to and it. Beautiful. She, and beautiful. Did you remind her that but as well? she walks yeah. through, she walks through, No, she doesn't see no one. The guy is thankful and people, when I first started dating her and everyone was like, I would go on a tube and you, the amount of people that would be looking and they're like, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. So it's like 10 a day. And yeah. I was like, this happens. I was like, what? Like, I'm like, and then she was like, I'm so grateful for it. But she was like, I don't see anyone. I'm just kind of like, go in. She's so good at that. And it's mm. so inspiring on a daily to have someone just be like, just live, just go. Like, people don't understand how smart and wise this woman is. She's incredible. I feel like we need to get her on as well. Mm. She's incredible. She'll probably see you like, maybe, yeah. maybe, she'll be uh, saying like, smiling. You know maybe we'll get her and Camilla on. <laughs> get them. Yeah. Yeah. And especially after the, the, the tour as well. I'll be tall, that'll be great. Yeah. 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 That'll be, I would love, I can't wait, I would love to watch that. It'll be so good. Yeah. Both inspiring women. Yeah, I know. Strong women. So good. I need that. You, th you said earlier about you. That one, baby. Um, about you just said like the only f you focus on just being you. Do you ever get an internal like sensation of you just know where you need to step next? It's like actually I'm gonna I'll, I'll open this up. That's to both general, you. yeah. Like, do you just get like a burning desire going right? This is my direction. I don't have it often, but I really like it when I do. Okay. So what will be an example of that? 
I think I'm, 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 it sounds shallow, but that to me, I mean, it, it can happen internally as well and mentally and, and, and that kind of thought. But I think it, when it comes to external wise and what I'm kind of pushing for, then that gets me excited when I think that. Because there's a lot of times so I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm mm. just going to keep on going until something triggers me. I'm like, okay, now I'm excited. I like to go on that journey and do this and do that. Mm. But as well as internally as well, such as that, all them were, all the, especially this guy. <laughs> When I'll meet him after a week and I've not spoke to him, then we'll have a conversation. I'm like, all right, cool, on it. Like, this is good information, this is good experiment. I love that. Same with Camilla, same with everyone I have around me, but it doesn't happen often. When it does, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. You have a new path that you want want to go to or at least another short journey that you want to try try and and Mm. empower yourself with. I think it's great. I don't know about you. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. And I, I like I said, fear is definitely one of them. So something that makes me feel like, oh, I'm nervous or whatever, then I know that, you don't have to do it. Like if it's a fear and it's like this is actually I feel like not good for me. Yeah, vulnerable, for me. vulnerable, unsafe, the, unsafe. Then then yeah, like choose and be like maybe I'm not gonna step into this, un- like completely. Up. But I know the difference between a fear where I'm like I'm scared because I know that oh it's new, it's new for me, and I'd feel like that's definitely an indicator. But for me, it's just a feeling when I switch to go oh I'm gonna do this then. There's no doubt. Like, I, I get excited, and the guy probably hears it a it's thousand very times. Short. The, so it's so quick. There's no, you can't give yourself time to, like, overthink that. Yeah. You just, I'm doing it. I just go. And, and I then I get that. excited, and then yeah. I'll be in it in the gym the next bit. I'll be, do, I'll be doing that the next bit. Like, I get obsessed. Like, so it's balancing that obsession. I'm lucky that I'm obsessed with, like, good things, great things. Yeah, that I'm cause, like, cool, because, again, it can... Because that obsessive personality can, can go be, both ways. Can go both yes, ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can go both but it's ways. good to have a, like an inch of motivation. I think we all need that bump every day to like keep. That's why podcasts are so great. Reading books mm. are so great. But it's anything that can make you have a little feeling every day to go, okay, that's yeah. why. I remember listening to a podcast and he was talking about. Um, it was on the Stephen. I don't know his last name, but Diary of a CEO. Yeah, mm-hmm. Stephen Bartlett. So, and it was I've that guy who was talking about. Day. Yeah, he was Jake's his new super fan. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I'm Tech Bo. So good. Love it the every day. I watch so it today. Um, there's a black guy recently. I forgot his name. For America. For America, the, the love, love yeah, kind doctor of guy. Man, but yeah. I was talking to a Red Bull one today, uh, the uh, Formula One driving that we're talking about. But just having one, just listening to these guys' stories is so great. Mm-hmm. He was talking about a guy, we well, talking about a guy, talking to the guy, and he was like, I don't ignore my feelings anymore. Mm. So whenever something happens, it doesn't need to be, it could be a bad one, it could be, even when it's a good one, I'll go home and I'll write it down and go, okay, I'll figure out the formula, which I'm big on. I love that kind of feeling of it, figuring out what got me. Mm. to fill in like that so then in the morning he'll he's realized that that kind of music instrumental listen to that makes me feel this way so that's what i do in the morning then i do that there and i do that there he said so when even when you're when I, he said i don't like i don't know it's kickboxing kung fu or something he was going to he said i don't always want to go but every single time i do go i have a two minute clip that i watch of this interview or something that makes me go oh, i can't wait to go and i go so mm. when it comes to me even teaching i'm in class so and i have to go i have to check it for myself every time i teach I've got to remember, sometimes i'm like oh Today's not the one. I can't imagine actually getting up wanting to teach. I go anyway and we do it. It's always great, the, uh, the outcome. Not always, but it's a good lesson either way. But with this one, it, when you see students sometimes, I'm like, I feel like you've lost why you're here. I feel like you, you've forgotten why you want to be in this room right now. Therefore, you're just... They're there like, because they think they have to? You know, I don't know. And they're, they're just going. I'm like, but if you know, again, why you're here for this, what are you actually here for? Then you're going to be like, let's go. Let's keep it moving. I'm, I know I've, I'm, I want this information to get me better But a part this. of me also thinks that that person probably needs to step away for a little bit. Mm. Is that, no, no, wrong and, and, wrong. And, not, no, and no. not be like, I'm going to quit, but just be like, do you know what? Mm. Take some this, space. I need, a, I need to just... This Do is something. why COVID was like, I was so, yeah. I can understand being terrible for so many people, but my experience from it was like I a loved blessing. It. Like, we're not going <laughs> to get that amount of like quietness Ever again. 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 Like, it's, so it's hard. To I do loved that. it. Yeah. Like, and I know that's so controversial to people, but yeah. I, I think fucking, most yo, I hit a yeah. reset. I removed everything I didn't like in my life. I quit Dream Boys. I was like, yo, I'm, the only thing I'm doing is teaching, and I feel so fulfilled. Yeah. And it's what's realized me is what I feel like my. I, I hate to say your purpose because I don't believe we have a purpose. I believe we create what we want to do mm-hmm. and we react to scenarios and situations. Mm-hmm. But like the thing I'm really good at and the thing I love is actually is teaching, but not because it's teaching. I like helping. Mm-hmm. I like helping others. I like inspiring others. I like passing on information or knowledge that I have onto others or speaking with someone and help mm-hmm. figuring out stuff, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, and that all forms from being in that stillness where I had to remove everything mm. and I just had that to focus on. Mm. But this really makes me feel fulfilled. So after it, I doubled down and I was like, my whole week, that's my schedule. Mm. It's gonna be based on teaching. 
I'm not going to perform anymore. I actually realized it doesn't fulfill me half as much as I thought it did. Like, uh, yeah. I just want to be a, an educator mm -hmm, or yeah. mm -hmm. someone that helps people achieve what they want to achieve, yeah. right? And then since getting with Jake, actually, if you ask Jake what his passion is. Same thing. Yeah. It's helping, exact, exact same that's like funny. it's helping other people. Like, bro, everything Jake does is elevate other people's lives. Is that always been that way, or is it since the change as well? Well, when I asked that question about like, do you get that gut internal instinct? I discovered that from a very young age of developing people. That's like my absolute. It's like the higher beings have told me that that's my kind of purpose in life, and I ignored that's it cool. for years, and drowned it out through, you know, partying lifestyle, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And it wasn't until I started listening to the emotions that you have, that I knew that that was the direction I had to go. And it's like this burning sensation here yeah. that mm. I'll dumb down and yeah. every time I lent into it, it's like, oh, that's where I'm gonna go. Yeah. Because at the same time, I, I think, I don't know how it is videog like being a videographer especially, but I think in the field I'm in as well, I think you've got to eventually, not eventually, you can still be the a highlight, you can still be the forefront of what you do, mm. but I'm learning more that it's this and actually getting to show others and and the, like for me i remember talking to you about it we said that my friends actually was like when it when is it for you as a dancer and when is it for you as a choreographer mm. and i'm realizing when the two play and obviously i don't dance a lot in work wise when it comes up i would love to take something when it feels right and it's mm. something is just right to go that way but dancing wise for me it's like when i'm creating it then I'm, when i'm probably teaching a friend in the garden then it comes to the choreography and it's that side of it stepping back it's my class i can't have it a be I'm learning now to even step back more and be like, Alex, just don't even think remotely about how you're looking and what you're doing. Just really focus on everyone else in that room and just mm. purely put it on them. Mm. And the way the pressure goes off my body completely when I really have to go, it's mm. way more freeing than it is about mm. me. So, mm. and like, I look at other people outside of dance. So I look at my grandma, my nan, and I look at, like, she's the most amazing woman on earth. Like, I tell my mum, you're amazing, but you're the second best woman. Your mum is the best. And my mum's like, <laughs> she, my mom, she goes, I know. I'm yeah. like, cool. Yeah. Like, and my nan loves, she's so selfless. She's, mm. She just wants to help everyone. She does everything for everyone. And then the other week I was saying this, my mum was like, she just gives to everyone. And she went, yeah, but that's what makes her feel valued. Yeah. yeah. Her value is serving others. Yeah. That's what fills her cup. Yeah. That's what gives yeah. her a purpose. If she doesn't, she isn't satisfied. Yeah. So yes, it's selflessness mm -hmm. and it's helping others. Mm. But without that, maybe she doesn't feel worthy. It's actually quite amazing. selfish at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah you could, because you're feeling your yeah. You it's kind of like a, I, I fill my cup and I'm filling other I, people's cups. And I love got, what, a good and, like, to fill it. and like <laughs> oh, and like Nan, I love you. This is never negative. Yeah. You'll never listen, but you are incredible. Yeah. I would never <laughs> speak about you in a bad light. But yeah. like, it's like. Soup the, it's like Superman syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's like you want to be the savior. You want to be the one to help everyone. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of selfishly what teaching is for me. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, yes, I love giving, I love giving, I love giving, mm -hmm. but I actually also love the feeling of seeing you. Mm -hmm. And I love that feeling of seeing you grow or seeing you go, wow, Kane's good. Yeah. Oh, wow, Kane did this good. I love that feeling. Yeah. So although I'm giving you, mm -hmm. I'm also taking from you. You 100%. don't see, you don't know if you, you don't see yeah, that. But like we much. all do that in our own way. So even say you as a choreographer, you're gonna go in and you're gonna be like, I'm gonna make these dancers and this artist look epic. But that's because you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's for selfish reasons, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all about balancing. But like that's what Jake does. So like Jake does, Jake builds everyone around him constantly on the phone, voice noting people, helping other people with what they're doing. And I'm always like, yo, how the fuck does he do this? Isn't it how crazy? many, how many of those people like uh, bar kings have watched about a thousand compliments kings give you today? I how many, <laughs> how many like remind you, give, give you that back? Because for me, my challenge was I uh, fill up. If I'm gonna sit one on one with you, mainly because I'm curious as well, so I'm gonna ask questions, and that in turn is gonna help you, and mm. you're gonna discover things about yourself. But then I discovered that it's r not rare. I've like cultivated it now, and I've also like helps my relationship to figure out, okay, now I'm getting it back. But it was a, definitely a transition stage for me to realize, oh, I'm not getting it back. Okay, I need to like do certain things now. I'm like, cause this is actually affecting me. It's like I'm giving a lot. Toxic. It's toxic. Cause yeah, you, yeah. You, you have, but that, that was also my expectations. Like I can't expect mm -hmm. people to give it to me, you know? Um, I was gonna come back and talk about your circles cause you mm -hmm. both mentioned it at some point. So we'll, we'll come back to that mm -hmm. in a second. Uh, I think first thing for me is I don't give to expect. I, to, like, yeah. I don't expect back. Yeah. Um, Secondly, most of the people that I give to are in my business realm. Mm -hmm. So I've got uh, two PTs and a sports therapist who work in my building. I have two dance teachers who we're also building a princess party for. We've got the podcast. We've helped the dance school, etc. There's so many like elements 
there's all selfish gains behind it. Financial yeah. gains, mm -hmm. you know, help me run the building, mm -hmm. et cetera. But mainly it's because I, like what you said, I learn from every interaction. Mm -hmm. For me, like the end goal is like to be some sort of mentor of some description. Mm -hmm. So by mentoring now from a, a young age, you know, I built my first team at 23, mm -hmm. is all I have is experience. Mm -hmm. And my experience is I can just, I can deliver to every single person yeah. around me. And that's yeah. the goal. It's just for me to be a better person. Yeah. Because I know me being a better person equals a better life. Yeah. And for everyone else around you. And for everyone else around me. And like, I love it. Like, I love the fact that I can build infrastructure for everyone around me to, to eat from. Yeah. And that, uh, there's ego. Mm -hmm. There's 100% ego involved with it that. It has to be. It has to be. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not for a second just like saying there isn't, but there's also so much love behind that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And going back to earlier, that, that sensation of like knowing that all I want to do is give to people. Yeah. That stems from a place of love and ego combined. Yeah. Yes. But ego doesn't mean bad. Yeah. Like, oh. I feel like, but I feel like we've deemed ego as a negative thing. No, it's not. No. Like if it it's used, used, if it's used and balanced and controlled and yeah. delivered in the right way. Yeah. I'm ego as fuck. You I know can't I'm. Get a, I know ego I'm. A, is always gonna be bro, bad. I'm a dope ass dance teacher. Yeah, hundred percent. That's <laughs> yeah. my ego, yeah. and I know it. Yeah. But that's what also gives me confidence to to be a dope mm. ass dance to be teacher. A, to be confident yes, to put myself yeah. out there to but be a dope it, ass teacher. Is like it ego, because when you prove it, is it ego? Is it just fat? Because when you prove it, but what's the difference? The, <sighs> because the, like because it's because <laughs> fat fat can only be something which is non-subjective. Based on what, yeah. Because well, like, to, to you, I could yourself. be a whack teacher, and to you, I could be a great teacher. Mm. So then, it's yeah, subjective. Right. So then, it is my ego yeah, because right. you disagree. Yeah, you're right. Whereas, a tree is a tree. Yeah, that's fact. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's next. But no, but, like do you know what I mean. You want to just go in being hundred percent comfortable in what you offer and what you do. So then, people are gonna love it. People are not gonna like it. But yeah, oh, they're gonna yeah, they're gonna be. You want them to have a choice, a decision, a choice either way. Not split fifty fifty about what you're doing. But yes or no. But then, as a teacher, where my insecurities kick in is, I go, okay, I know I'm a fucking dope teacher. Do I know I always make great steps? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, come on. No, no, but you see the difference, right? <laughs> but that's. But, but I'm that's, saying, oh, come on, when I go for the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so like, but, that's, yeah. but that's the difference, right? Yeah. I know I can make you a better dancer. Yeah. I know I can deliver it well. Yeah. I know I can make a good energy. Yeah. But do I always create good steps? No, because not everything's going to be a home run. Yeah, but that's everything so not, not everything is about. Because, because, but being the teacher and being the dance step maker are on the same tool. No, it's not the same not. thing. They're not. They're like, not. that's why I would make a great PT, because he's still teaching. But that's why, that's why about. they're back in a, uh, maybe that coming full circle to that big mm. question is because yes, you're a good choreographer and learning, that's when I do all this stuff because I want to learn in here to put out there and what I see like this, choreographer, but then when it comes to teaching, I got to show you what I'm making. So I'm actually going to be able to pull it up to a certain extent of what I've told the room. Guys, I want it like this, I need it like this. And then they go, right, we'll watch you and you got to do exactly what you've told me you, you're doing. Mm. That's when the nerves kick in and go, right, I've actually got to, prove what I say now and actually got to make it happen. Whereas if you watch everyone at the end, you go, ah, well, it can happen. You guys can do it. I don't always want to be the show and tell, but so I'm finding in and out of that kind of. Mm. I never think of that. I know. <laughs> it's like, so funny, we've had these conversations. This, he, never th he never thinks that. No, not in a way. It's just fascinating to me because I think because I'm constantly learning about trying to learn and get better. So I don't ever, and I'm, I've shot, I'm keep evolving. Like it's stupid how much I'm evolving so quickly that I don't no, I don't think about whether people are going to get it or not, whether people are going to like it or not, or whether it's, I'm going to look good in front of them. Because I'm like, I look, I know I look good doing it. Because I'm like, I'm constantly like, I don't know. It's yeah. not, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a thought that it never goes through. I don't make my combos. I don't even think of it as making combos. You I don't, just do. I just do. I just have fun, go to the studio, whatever, have fun. Okay, I'm teaching. I don't think about, are they going to like it? It's for them. It is for them as in like, I'm going to talk to them. But it's for me. I use that class for me to go in, feel my anxiety, feel my nerves, still deliver, still communicate, still make them feel good. It's, it's, it's selfishly in that sense for me to like just be better like that as a communicator and a, a better person. And then it's like they happen to just get really great on top of that. Yeah. I don't think of like, well, are they going to? I know they're going to enjoy it because I'm like, I'm communicating. With, I'm listening mm. to you. You're going to enjoy it. Hundred. Like I know, even if you're not, then I know. I know I'm doing my. I know I'm doing yeah. my job. Right. You're not holding your end. I'm not holding my. I'm, I'm holding mine. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing what I'm saying. Because this is a relationship. Yeah. Yes. So it, between between the teacher and just, student. Yeah, yeah. If you're not enjoying it, I not enjoy. Like you, I don't know if, if students look at it like that. Like well, I don't enjoy that step, so I don't enjoy the class. If you do, then that's that's. Oh, that's your um, that's your view. But we've that's all okay. but we've all done classes where we may not like the steps, but we've enjoyed. But the we've class. enjoyed it. That's what I mean. So I I don't I just don't view it that way. I'm just like. If you if the, if you're in my room in class when I'm teaching and you're gonna be the like and that's then I'm a like you. that's a you thing because I'm like you're not you're not 
you're not letting yourself just I'm in for a class being like I would never dance a certain way that I do now and all of a sudden I'm doing all these don't care what I'm doing and it's just authentic so I'm like I feel compassionate if you struggle to get to that place because it's scary especially if you're a male as well so if you're a male and you're doing things I was that person in class before that someone would tell me just do this be free do this I'm like nah it's not cool bro and now I don't want to do it and I'm like so I get that so I'm Mm. like if you're not enjoying it I feel that it's because you're not letting yourself loose and allowing yourself to enjoy it. So I Definitely. don't ever think about mm. whether someone's going to enjoy my steps. I'm just like, I'm having a good time regardless, and I'm out, and mm. then I'm done. Okay, so that's that's what helps me. But again, because I'm thinking about all these other things at the same time that are bettering me, and then in turn, bettering my dance mm. and bettering my teaching. No, bro, yeah. 100%. I feel yeah. like if we all just do that in life, life would be chill but it's yeah. not it's not because <laughs> we not, it's, we're it's a lot easier said than done of course oh, you're in a game of validation we're in a get we're in an actual career mode based on validation itself so 100 one of them ones there eh? in and then out one you don't know when you can use it so you yourself does it matter no you, you, you validate right. yourself and you go i'm killing it every day because i'm doing so and so and so which i said i was doing so and so and so cool say something you don't like my choreography, okay? I mean, it doesn't really like, get doesn't, down to that. It, it doesn't, doesn't get down. No, to but that. It, but some people will be affected by that. Where I don't go to yeah. this because of this. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Do you? I did my meditation today. I did my gym today. I feel great, and it's mm. nine a.m. Yeah. I feel amazing. You're not gonna knock me. I'm not gonna let you knock me off. Mm. You can say whatever you want, but I'm gonna be good because I'm gonna take it and go. Okay, cool, love. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy my life. Like I'm not. It might even go where I'm like, oh, if, like okay, you're trying, but I'm like, you won't win. You mm. won't win, and if you do, then I'm not gonna blame you. I'm gonna go, Rowan. Why did you let that get yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, you. Like you, you let yourself you surrender go, not to them. It. Yeah, yeah. People can say they're whatever they want to do. They're showing you clearly. Yeah. What the, yeah. So when someone goes, I'm like, that's all you, man. Mm. That's a you problem. So. We gotta wrap this up, fellas. Final oh, two. Go on. I told. So hey, do you remember when I told you it how fast it goes? You're like, it got ages. I was like, you'll be surprised. I like wow. that. Hey, Jake's got a question for you both though before we go. We okay, gotta answer kind of quickly. No, no, they've done it before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have we done it before? before? I think oh, so. Alien question. Alien. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you were both to meet your 50 year old self now, mm-hmm. what do you think they would say to you? Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Shorten that crop top. Keep going. Shorten that crop top. Keep going. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Leaving yourself, it's all good. It's all love. That's probably just what you mm. need to hear as well. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's what you need to hear. Yeah. It's fascinating. Sick. I like yeah. that. Nice. Amazing. Yeah, good episode. I, love that. I wish, oh, I, I wish yeah. we had more time. I know. I wish we had more time. time. I was grateful for I you guys for doing that. Thank you guys yeah, for having us. It's because this is really good. Even for males, just like speaking more of this, it's really yeah. appreciation for this. Is really it's good. fun. Yeah. So much fun. You guys I feel like we don't uh, just chat yeah. enough. Yeah. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we have chatter, but yeah. we don't chat. Like no. We need more of that. We don't talk. We need more of that. So, you guys are providing it, and it's grateful to be part of it. Uh, Plug your classes, go. Oh, God. Come on, man. There might be some like Italian dancer that's listening uh, that comes over and, like, oh. I, I. Friday, 1 to 2 3. <laughs> Woo! Studios. That's funny. Fun. Monday, 7 p.m. till 8 30, and then Tuesday is 5 30 to 7. Isn't it weird how we hate a plug? I know it's like, I, oh, I don't I know, but I, I get it. Plugs. And really good questions too. You guys are really good with the questions. I love it. You guys gets are really thinking. good at talking. Yeah. yeah, it gets me thinking, man. Mm. Dope. Like a lot. Yeah. Peace Thank out. So much. Everyone give up. Peace.